Hi, welcome to the Badu Mangroves, Parramatta River's largest stand of grey mangroves. Dr Marianne is going to tell us a little bit about how the leaves of the grey mangrove tree assist it to live in this environment. Dr Marianne, can you tell us a little bit about the grey mangrove leaves and how they assist the tree in surviving in this saline environment? Okay, well, the roots essentially keep out most of the salt that would come in with the water when the plant takes in water. But some salt does get into the plant and the leaves have these little glands on the underside of the leaf that secrete salt out of the plant. That way, when it rains, that salt can get washed back into the environment. That's fantastic. So salt secretion helps the mangrove trees survive in this saline environment. What about the underside and the top side of the leaf? They feel different and look different. Why is this? Well, the underside of the leaf is slightly furry and has fine hairs on it. And the upper side has a waxy, shiny cuticle on it. Both of these adaptations are basically about conserving water within the mangrove plant um, and blocking evapotranspiration. So that's the process by which leaves um, give up their water to the environment and then it's evaporated out of the plant. Now because these plants are living in soil that can be as salty as the sea, they are actually quite deprived of fresh water. So both of these are adaptations to retain fresh water within the plant. Wow, that's really interesting. And that is information for you about the leaves of the mangrove tree.